November, traditionally the best month for stocks all year. Are you expecting a November pop? Well, I don't know the short term, but I do agree with Bob. I think interest rates are really driving the market. And with the 10-year being close to 5%, now back to 4.8, that is really driving kind of where we're going to see uh, stocks end up at, really at the end of the year. And as they come down or as they move up, that really correlates with the stock market. All right. So with all that in mind, Surat, what is your WEX word of the day? Bonds. Um, I think, you know, we've, we've gone through this period of time where there's no alternative. Well, there is an alternative. Investors can put money in even short duration bonds anywhere from one to five years, and you're getting six to seven percent. We we, we did, never saw that before for, for a decade, Frank. So I think what you're seeing also is not just equities coming down, but you're seeing a flow to another asset class that is less riskier, much more transparent than investors putting money into alternative classes like real estate or even private credit, uh, where you know you just don't have that transparency. Explain that one to me, Surat. So you're saying that you see the potential for a November pop, but you're also mentioning the intense competition from the fixed income market. Yeah, so I think two things are going on here, Frank. One is you have another choice, but the other one is if you get some clarity on interest rates and you actually know we are staying longer for higher, but we're not going up, and we're going to have less volatility, investors will come back because that uncertainty will be driven away. And you can actually then really financially figure out kind of, hey, what are the values of these stocks? Right now, if you can't really figure it out, you know, sell first, come back later. Secondly, okay. the other part that we're having, Frank, is, you know, we are in this geopolitical uncertainty. So every day what you see is, you know, today's we're starting to open up higher. But in the last few weeks, Mondays have been strong. And then over the rest of the week, we've had a sell-off. And going into Friday, you know, most investors, okay. at least the, the traders, don't want to be long. All right, so right. we want to focus on moves for today. One of your picks for us today is Morgan Stanley. Why is the big bank a good call? So they sold off pretty hard last week, almost 10%, because they missed for a quarter in terms of wealth management. They did confirm that for the year end, they're going to evade their targets. Morgan Stanley trades at below 10 times earnings. It's got a 4% dividend yield. It increases its dividend yield, which is what I like. So... You know, if you want a bond proxy, this is even better. And they've also taken some uncertainty out. They, they named a successor, and, and that was an overhang for a stock. So I think that combination of all those three things is going to drive that stock. 